This afternoon, we're previewing the Nichols College men's soccer season. We're here with head coach Chris Trena. Chris, last season your team went to the conference championship for the fourth time in five years. Just recap that real quick. How special was that for you? Sure. Actually, very, uh, very exciting season for us. Uh, peaked at the right time, uh, and fortunately now through the last few years, once we're able to get into the postseason, uh, we've got the experience that uh, my guys are calm and composed, and and are very focused on exactly what we got to get done. So. I was very pleased. Uh, it was pretty much a rebuilding year for us. So we did have Scott Kader, a fantastic player who graduated, and the whole conference is very happy about that. Um, however, we had some young players step up last year. Uh, we had a good recruiting class this year. Um, yeah, very special year. That each, each year is special. I mean, if you got all the way, get all the way to the final, that's, that's a wonderful thing, a fantastic semifinal. Sure. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all in all, a great season. Couldn't great. ask for anything more. Now, coming into training camp, you've been back a week. How have things gone? You did suffer the one, the 2 nothing loss in the championship match. Has any of that, if you want to say, momentum carried over into camp? Any of those, maybe a little, we have something to prove this year. But how's camp gone in general? Camp's gone great. In fact, what I try to do is I, I tell my guys, okay, it's 8-15, the first day of preseason. Everything we've done in the past doesn't matter. It's what you're going to do. Uh, in the future, from now through the season, is what matters to us. So we try to start every season with a clean slate. Sure. Now, you mentioned Scott Kader. He mm -hmm. was first team all conference last year, one of the all time leading scorers in Nichols history. He's Absolutely. gone now. Not to put pressure on any players, but what are you looking for offensively? Anybody who needs to step up or elevate their game a little bit to fill those shoes? Well, you know what? Uh, we've had some young guys step up last year. Uh, we've, Like I said, we've got a good recruiting class. And actually, I think we're actually going to be a, a, a different type of team this year because we've got some guys uh, across the field that can put the ball in the net. Uh, where it's going to be tougher for teams to focus on the one guy who can put the ball in it for us. Sure. It may come from different parts of the field now, which is uh, something that makes us a little deeper as a team. Sure. The conference poll came out that you were chosen fifth. Yeah. Thoughts on the poll, and, and as we mentioned the poll, expectations for the season? Uh, you know, I don't put a whole lot of weight in the poll. I'm, I know a lot of teams uh, enjoy seeing what place they're in, and some don't enjoy it. Uh, I just use it as, okay, that's how everybody feels about us, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I have no problem being in the middle of the pack uh, every year. In fact, uh, I think I put us third or fourth anyway. Uh, I know every team develops, every team is senior heavy, some lose a lot of graduates. We're, we're relatively young. We've got four seniors on the team, uh, three juniors, and the rest are underclassmen. So and with a roster of 28 guys, we're relatively young, which isn't a bad thing. Great. Thank you, Coach Trina. Fans can follow NicholasAthletics.com to keep track of the Bison throughout the season. Great. Thanks.